how we as a marketing communications business that work with a whole load of different in-house recruiters have helped one particular one and I'm going to talk specifically about um, some work we were doing House of Fraser, how we helped them revolutionise their employee referral scheme. And actually what we wanted to do was take a slightly different approach to it. Was this purely and simply about an employee referral scheme or was it about developing a brand ambassador programme for them? Our challenge, and the challenge that I'm going to talk about here, is not purely about a referral scheme, it's about how we change the 5,000 colleagues that there are at the House of Fraser into 5,000 brand ambassadors. And once again, it came very much from, and it was very clearly intertwined with work that we were doing with them around the development of their employer brand. When the resourcing team had first started looking at the problem, they understood that they weren't clear about what they stood for. There was no proposition about what it was like to work at House of Fraser to potential employees, and they wanted to address that. And we worked with them closely to start developing a new employer brand for them. And fundamentally, at the heart of that, the essence of what they were about was about living extraordinary. Yeah? There were certain pillars behind that promise, and this was all based on research, based on understanding what people at House of Fraser were saying. It was about bringing their personalities to work with them, embracing and celebrating individuality, and putting their own ideas forward with confidence and really having people who worked for the business who lived and breathed the House of Fraser brand values. And when you start thinking about developing an employee referral program, I think you need to be very clear about what it is. And we recommend whoever you are, whatever organisation that there is, there's a process to it. And the process that we take into the work that we do with organisations is first of all talking so that we're all absolutely clear about what that brief is. It's then digging, research, what do we know? What do your people want? What do they value most? How are they going to use this scheme? What's the most important thing to them? Is it reward? Is it recognition? Is it a clear scheme that works well? Or is it the ability to be able to tap into it very quickly? There are very many different drivers from different audience types within an organisation as well as different people within an organisation. So if you look at the various personas. And it's only when you've got that clarity that you can really start developing a solution that's right for you. And I'm going to talk about the solution that, 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 that we're, we... we developed for the House of Fraser as well. And once you're there, how do you express it? How do you share it? And how do you keep on tweaking it as well? You've got to make sure that it's working for you as an organisation and it's working for your employees as well. It's very interesting whenever you talk about employee referral schemes because they mean so many different things to different people as well. And we started by saying, is this really an employee referral programme or is there an opportunity to do something a little bit more where actually we can get, engage all of the colleagues within the organisations and turn them into something that is more, more valuable to you as an organisation that get them to engage better with the organisation and actually turn them into brand ambassadors as well. If you look at the, the UK population and you analyse what it's like. Well, only 13% of UK employees consider themselves to be highly engaged with their employer. I find that quite a worrying statistic. But actually, even worse than that is almost double are actively disengaged with that organisation. And so understanding what your engagement levels are like are going to be really critical in understanding how effective your referral scheme will be and what it is that you need to do for it. Engaged employees, 87% less likely to leave an organisation. 
So if you can get them and you can get them to be engaged, they're the right type of people and they're engaged with your organisation from when they come in, they're going to stay longer. Companies with higher levels of engagement show turnover rates 40%. So they're going to come in, they're going to stay longer and the, therefore knock on costs yeah, from that cost of people turnover is going to be a real benefit to you as well. And I think it's been one of the key reasons that organisations have looked at improving employee engagement. 94% of companies who believe they engage well with their employees also believe that they've got a competitive advantage. But there's just one more thing to think about, and this is very true for whatever it is that you're trying to do internally within your organisation, something we're very conscious of, that 80% of people think they are overwhelmed with information at work. And I think we can all understand how do we actually ensure that the messages we make cut through as well, because all organisations, all workforces are, are really overwhelmed by that level of information as well. So we've got to make sure that, that the messages are relevant to them and that they're going to cut through as well. So taking all of that information together, we decided that we were going to tie the values of the organisation, our employee referral programme, and actually trying to improve staff engagement into one clear message and try and create these 5,000 brand ambassadors for the House of Fraser. I talked as well about some of the processes as well. There's a little bit of background there. What did we know about people who work for House of Fraser? Well, we knew a lot from them. We'd done a lot of research. We'd spoken to all various groups, from head office to leadership to shop floor to um, support functions within the organisation, to, to, to the digital team as well. And then we worked very closely with the internal team to look at the values and see what they meant to the people. And actually all of research was pointing that for employees, the values really rang true. The values rang true to them, and actually they weren't things that they came into work and said, right, okay, this is what I am. They were actually what they were. They, it's the people that they were, they believed in the values, they believed in the organisation, and the values were sort of part of their lives outside of work. And actually, with that as a starting point, we began to think about some of the things that the people were doing, what they were doing inside of work and what they were doing outside of work. And if they believed in that and they believed in those values, how could we get them to demonstrate those values in actions. So they became just more than words on a wall, words on a, on a lobby as you go into the business as well. And therefore, if we could encourage people to capture what they were doing and then to share them, what we would have is we would have a huge and you know, increasingly growing bank of content about what it was really like to work there. And our research had been telling us as well that people were really proud of what they did. They believed in it, they believed in the values, they believed in the organisation as well. And if we could drive this content, they would be really happy to share that content because actually it would give people more of a sense of belonging, of what it was like to work for. And for them, that was more important than financial rewards. And we were seeing that one of the values, we put the customer first. I mean, I'm not going to read them through, but in work, there were things that they were all doing. Out of work as well, they were making breakfast in bed. They were helping out a neighbour. They were throwing surprise birthday parties. They actually believed in putting other people first, and they were doing it in and out of work as well. They worked as one team. In work, fun and productive meetings was something culturally that the organisation was really keen to develop. Yeah, that people would share ideas and that they would work together to make a change to that organisation as well. So therefore, out of work, they were still engaging with their colleagues, they were engaging with other people, they were team players and they were doing something with other people. It was team that was important to them as well and they wanted to be the best. In work, once again, working in, in, in a house of Fraser, they were giving people a makeover. They were helping people 
choose what they wanted to do to be the best. They were solving problems, they were team huddles, um, and they're brave and inspirational. So in work, they'd create it, they'd um, develop creative displays in shop windows. Out of work, they'd be doing tough mudders, they'd be doing themed fancy dress and, and riding a roller coaster. So actually what you can start to see through the values what was important to people in work and what was, people, what was important to people out of work. And therefore, how could you start to bring all of this together into content that could then be shared so potential candidates would see the reality of what it was like to work and what was important to people who worked for House of Fraser. So what we did, we did a photo shoot to help people understand some of these connections and our focus was to capture people both in work displaying the values and out of work displaying the values as well. So how do people live those values in all kinds of ways? And the results were extraordinary. They were showing people living extraordinary. And actually once you've got that content and you understand that the content is important, the content actually makes it clear about what it's like to work for an organisation, one of the key elements is how you share all of that content. That big idea behind it is that if you do things like this, you share our values, you'll fit in, we're a good place for you. So what we wanted to do then was take some of the imagery that we'd bought and engage with our people internally as well at the House of Fraser get them to understand that there was going to be a change towards this referral programme. So we had a range of uh, teaser uh, posters throughout the stores, throughout head office, throughout everywhere where House of Fraser people were working as well. And it was teasers just asking people to do things as well with a date and a launch date. And when we got to launch date, there was more detail. With a lot of the work that we've done with organisations, one thing is very clear that people have different success or, or different dependencies that are going to work out whether the referral scheme is going to be a success. A lot of people will talk that it's purely about money. Should I raise the bounty for my scheme? A lot of work that we've done in some organisations is it's not about the money. It's about that sense of belonging and we were very clear in this that this wasn't about a big bounty, it was about lots of small rewards. Whether that was a Starbucks coffee for referring people, it was small prizes but it was actually that sense of belonging that you could feel with an organisation as well. And we did some desk drops as well. We had to be creative with the messaging as well, going back to that point that we raised earlier, 80% of people saying that they're overwhelmed by the amount, of, uh, the amount of information that they receive. Can you just do a poster? Is it a combination of information that, first of all, tweaks people's intrigue, then provides them greater detail as well, and then you follow it through, um, as I said, with emailers that drive people through to the content portal. Yeah, so it's a social and web portal. So whether we were asking them to share what they were doing through Facebook, through Twitter, through Instagram, through Snapchat. Snapchat. There was one portal where all of that content could be stored that they could share with their, content, with their contacts to let them see that as well. For us, employee brand and employee referral are intrinsically looked. And actually, there are very different ways that you can approach it. Is it just a scheme that you get people, or is it an opportunity to actually engage much more with your workforce and take them on a longer term journey where they feel more engaged and more ready to get people like them to come and work for you as well. But I think one of the things to say is that the actions and rewards are, are, are very different for both and will depend on different organisations as well. The ambassadors and the approach that we've got is sh getting those people to share their view of the organisation with their networks and receive micro rewards, so they're receiving smaller rewards. Referrers 
are much more about live vacancies for a bigger bounty. And the bounty may depend on what particular area of an organisation you work, but there are so many organisations where it's very difficult to put a value on getting certain people in compared to other people. Yeah, how do you structure that overall bounty? So therefore, getting people to be brand ambassadors and get micro rewards for it was a much better approach for this particular organisation. But actually thinking that through leads on as well to what are the mechanics around it as well, because your policies need to be very clear and your policies will be different depending on the approach that you want to take as well. But fundamentally, whatever it is that you need to do, you need to engage with the business to make both successful. You need to engage with your staff to make sure that they see the value in it and that they understand that potentially it's not just a one-off campaign. It's something that there, they don't just get an email, do something then, it becomes embedded into the, the culture. It gets embedded into their psyche that they know it's always there. And that's one of the biggest challenges when you speak and say, do we actually have an employee referral scheme? Oh, yeah, I think I heard about that, but I don't know the detail. I don't know where to go for it. So actually, there are many ways that technology can help provide that.